Hello everybody, Grace Plays. We're checking out a game called Bridge Constructor Portal. So the guys over at Bridge Constructor sent me this game so I could check it out. Now you're gonna see the portal here. This is not made by Valve. Um, it has the creatures of the game in it, but it's made by the, well, the Bridge Constructor people. They have a bunch of different Bridge Constructors. If you don't know what Bridge Constructor is, the idea is we have to craft glorious instruments of mobility in order to get people from one side of a map to the other. But now we have to deal with these freaking portals and we have to deal with GLaDOS hemming and hawing at us all the time, which is actually pretty fun. She's, her appearances are very, very much wanted. So there's like six levels of tutorials. I've done, I've just went past them. So we can go straight into the sadness that is known as thrust. This game is best if you're an engineer and you're efficient and you're good with money. I'm not an engineer, I'm not very efficient and I, it's not my money, so I could care less. So we're going to be crafting instruments of the most heinous type, whereas we could probably do stuff that's fairly, like, simplistic. It's not gonna happen. Gladys, Remember, do you have anything for vehicles us? vehicles will maintain their speed when driving mm. through a portal. As you can see, it will need a lot of speed to hurdle the middle wall. The yes. Enrichment Center would like to remind you that the entire vehicle must reach the exit to earn a positive mark on your testing record. For other critical testing anecdotes, please refer to the Library of Best Practices, which is now available to you effective immediately. Yeah, I don't need the best practices, I just need the average practices that'll get us somewhere. So it looks like it already started us off with like a sad little creation- Oh! By the way, if you don't know what the green goo is, it's deadly. <laughs> Effectively, everything in this game will kill you that isn't bridge chunklets, uh, or like, the walls. And even then, people still go flying off the damn creation. They're like little, uh, forklifts over here, if you notice. Alright, so we gotta go down here, we gotta fly into the blue thing, and they have to get enough speed to go across this and land over here. Now, this portion, we have these, like, ultra-potent beams of sadness or something like that they're called. Over here looks to be pretty simplistic. We can just, oh really, it's not gonna, uh, you know what? I don't need to connect to you. Screw you, I'm just gonna do that and then I'll do that, there. So from here, we're gonna need some additional support structures. Again, we're gonna start off pretty simplistic. I don't think I'm gonna go too insane yet. All right, so this hideous being looks fairly appropriate. I think I've done a fantastic job of making spider web like Satanisms down here. Now, one of the things that you can do is you can click on the items and it'll turn it from like the support beams into the bridge. Oh, we've got little guys over here observing our performance. Hopefully our performance is decent. Now, am I gonna have enough speed? I have no idea, let's find out. Fire up the first poor sucker to give this a shot. Oh crap. All right, well one vehicle down, we're gonna have to lift this up slightly. All right, let's try this. A Little bit higher. A little bit more angled. These guys are having a good time. They're going to the party and all of a sudden, crap! Ah! <laughs> that guy went right off the board! He didn't even go- Oh. Oh, never mind. Yeah, they're sizzling in the acid. Uh, I've never actually sent one of the little gentlemen clear off the board, so that was new and exciting. There we go. Now we're looking appropriately absurd. Okay, let's try this. Oh, mother of God. Oh, no! 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 Crap! Well, that was a new way to die. Haven't actually done that yet. There we go. All right, I think I spent enough money now. I've spent a lot of money. Uh, was it like six to seventy thousand dollars or something? All right, let's see how we do this time. There we go, getting through. All right, now just tumble. No, no, come on, drive it, drive it, drive it. Those things that has no four wheel drive or anything. I can't even get up this sad little ramp. Crap. All right, this is it. I think that just the deal is we lose speed if we're not on the ramp. I think now we've got it. So it's just like a, a nice slope all the way down and we should clear some si Oh yeah, there we go. There we go, don't roll. Don't roll, yes! All right, so we finally got it. Let's uh, do the convoy over here. Now you have to have the convoy work if you want to get maximum points. Yes, all my children, go flying for Isengard. They're doing very well actually. We got a little bit of uh, support structure integrity loss over here, but other than that, pretty good. I gotta tell you, I think we did a fantastic job. We wastefully spent 54 grand, but that's not that bad. That's about what you're gonna spend for your kids on college anyway. Vertical drop. Seems legit. Tell Please me, Gladys. Note that this test chamber's exit is very near the top. Uh, that sucks. Okay. 
The vehicle drivers will need speed and crossing paths to complete this test on your behalf. I got it. So they flow in through here, they shoot out of here, they come down here, and then they rock it out here. And the idea is that somehow you land up here and they go through the little tubey guy. We believe in you, applicant 9723. If you are not applicant 9723, please submit a sporadic encouragement request form 274 days prior to testing. A sporadic encouragement request. That seems actually pretty workforce legitimate. Uh, okay. So, all we have to do is just get across here. But the problem is, is that if you build your bridge pieces and you go all the way across, they're just going to drop down. They're going to hit the bridge pieces. So we have to basically, like, make a little ramp that gets them through here without blocking this area up. All right, we got a little ramp going over here, catches on this little ramp over here. If we really want to do, we could probably do, like, a giant loop-de-loop. -loop. I don't know if the creatures will work well. You know what? What the hell? Let's try it. I'm just, this isn't to actually complete the board. I just want to know if it's possible. If we do, like, a loop, what happens to these guys? Can I even make a loop, I wonder? All right, I imagine the dreams of children will just become crashing down here. Oh, it's far too powerful. No. Oh. That was interesting. We almost got them right into this hole with that horrible contraption. Yeah. So this would need a ton more supports down here. I mean, you could do it probably if you just kept it going like maybe this way. And then you, we're, we're spending so much money right now that we don't need to spend. And then kind of like maybe kept it doing this over here. See what kind of weight that is. Yep, still super heavy. Okay, I have no idea how much momentum these creatures are going to have. Let's find out here. So, carrying boxes from one side. Crap. Well, that did. Oh, well, I, don't, oh, I thought it was going to work. They almost bounced off the contraption into this. Okay, so this needs to go out a little bit further. All right, this is going to do it. Here we go. Go get them, boys. Hold on to your anuses, because we're going for the mark. Uh, we're doing good so far. Wow. They shoot right on down. Oh, get there, baby. Get there. Ye yeah, yes, yes, yes. We did it, just barely. The uh, little weed whacker engines these things have were just enough to bring them to the edge. Hold on, let's try the convoy over here. Get the convoy going. We need five individuals to make this stuff happen. Now, you're gonna notice, oh, the timing on this is so bad. No one's crashing into each other yet. Everything's doing pretty good. This can get pretty bad because we're gonna have some breakdown over here. There's too many guys. Oh God, oh, no, 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 no break, no break, no break. Come on, you guys can do it. Oh my God, they, they legitimately are doing it. We're gonna have it, we're gonna have five of five. Yes, go toward the elevator, you little test subjects of sadness. How happy I am that you've made it. Let's go on to the next level. What else could we... This looks a little bit tougher. Super colliding super button. Okay. Tell me all about it, Gladys. What do this we got? This chamber will include untested testing apparatus. Previous tests have shown that applicants who are more anxious about the increased complexity will take comfort in the following sounds. <laughs> There, I don't need to add any edits to the video. She did it for me. We can see from your biofeedback monitor that your mood has nearly improved to acceptable limits. Good. Oh, God. The red, heavy-duty, <laughs> super-colliding super button must oh. be permanently pressed to hold the door open. Oh, God. All right, so we have to have a, a, a car that hits this and then doesn't leave. It looks like it already has this room mostly set up for us. There is also a us. vital apparatus vent. When activated, it drops a weighted companion cube. Okay. If you've been paying attention, the solution should be obvious. As the case may be, good luck. Oh, this isn't so bad. So basically, what we have to do is... Let me see. We have to go here. Right? Pop out here. One of our dudes hits the button. And then when the button is hit, it drops down the cube, which sits on this. And then this opens the door and everyone's happy? Okay. Uh, assuming this holds, this should work, right? Because basically, the car goes here, goes up here, hits this, goes through here, hits the button, travels up the second ramp, and boom. Everything should be fine? 
I don't know, let's find out. All right, little aperture guys, do your thing. Yes, forgotten country. They look to be doing pretty well so far. All right, hit the button. Little cube drops down. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa, where did that guy go? One dude just took a freaking dive. So what happens if you hit the button more than once? Let's try the convoy and see what happens over here. We already had one poor schmuck go spilling out. Uh, the bridges look really stable. Really stable. Okay, it looks like you can only hit the, the button one time. Yep, there goes the chicklets flying out. We're losing men left and right, but it doesn't matter because as long as we get at least one schmuck on the vehicle to safety, we basically win. So we did excellent. 44 thousand dollars spent that's a few Christmases worth I actually want to see if we can ramp this hold on I want ramps instead of full connecting bridges so let's see what happens over here that guy jumps oh yeah the ramp works just fine plus I don't think he'll take his chiclets off over here perfect look at that the ramps actually better hold on convoy this I want to see this I knew ramps were the key to everything in life. I should have freaking known. Look at this. Look at how perfect this is. Everyone's going flying. No bodies are ejaculating off of the various vehicles. And all of our sad little dudes make it to safety. Look at them all. They're all so happy. Yes, hit the party favor noises, folks. We did it. We only spent an extra, like, four grand or something. Or no. We spent, like, an extra one grand. That's perfect. All right. Next board. Board number 10. It's the cube detour, folks. Got some buildings here already made for us. Oh, no more Gladys? Not gonna tell me anything? Okay, fine. So, let's see, our dudes flop down on the ground, but they need to get this going on and doing its thing. So, we have to push this button. All right, I'm pretty sure we got this in the bag. So guys go on here, they go across, they go through the portal, they spill out here, and eventually they're gonna jump a little bit, and then actually we may even want to, can I bring this down at all? Like, just like, maybe, Maybe like that. I don't think that they need to jump that far. And then they're going to get in here. We need a way, though, to make sure that the cube falls on here. So we're going to have to make a little ramp. So let's just kind of... It shouldn't be that hard. We should basically just be able to kind of like go like this. And it should land right like so. Uh, so let's build a couple of cross bracings. This should not be too big of an issue. Hold on. Let's put that over there. All right. There we go. I decided to use these little cords. I never use them. It looks a little wobbly, but I'm sure it'll be just fine. Send in the drivers. Make it happen, baby. All right. So he's going to run across. Very good. Button's going to get pressed. There goes the cube. Opens up the door. He goes flying, and we're freaking set. This is amazing. Like, I can't believe it's working quite so well. Hold on. Let's do the convoy. See if we can do the convoy. Ready in three, two. All right. I think we have plenty of supports and braces and everything else. So there shouldn't be any issue. There goes the cube of sadness. The cube of sadness lands fantastically. All of my little super daves over here jumping. No issues. No families are going without fathers for the holiday season. And we did another excellent. I can't believe it. 52 grand spent on that. All right. I want to see if we can do it with all just ramps. One ramp over here to shoot them over to the button. Bammo. Little cube comes down. Flops over there. Another ramp. Yeah, the ramps work fantastic, man. You could save your uh, your business a couple of bucks, too, by using them. Back over to the next one. Oh, I'm getting all kinds of progress. What is this? What kind of odd mutant cutscene are we dealing with over here? Oh, my God. There's so many. There's so many achievements. I'm getting so many. Stop it. There's too many achievements. Extended testing opportunity. All right. Plug in. Oh. Oh, my computer wasn't even on. <laughs> ah, yes. Congratulations, 9723. By completing the first testing stage, you've earned the opportunity to continue testing. <laughs> Good. Failure to continue testing will result in detainment until the next semi annual reassignment phase. Good. Good. It is time for more sadness to accumulate. We'll do one more. Click to start. It's under fire. Congratulations. You've made it farther than anyone expected. Unfortunately, testing conditions will not be getting any less dangerous. This test includes sentry turrets. What? Vehicles seen by the turrets targeting laser are marked for disqualification, followed by rapid disassembly. The blue lines in this chamber are aperture science material emancipation grills. They will okay. vaporize all aperture science testing apparatus, except for the test vehicles. So... 
Okay, so I can't put any objects over here, or can I? Because we need to block this thing's line of sight. What in the world happens here? So, if we go this way, we would die immediately from the uh, from the, the laser of power over here. So I've started to build, but I'm actually very curious. Let's find out what the sentry turret actually does. Send the men in. Send the first test subjects in. All right, no big deal. Oh. Okay. Well. Uh, how do you get past that? We can't build anything over there. Like, we would have to ramp off of this with enough speed and agility or something. But how in the world would you do it? Okay. Guy goes down here. Floats through portal. Portal spits him out. He goes shooting like a bat out of hell. I still feel like the sentry cannon's gonna kill him. Now, the only thing is... I wonder if he jumps high enough past the sentry if he'll make it. Let's do another test over here just to kind of see what's what. All right. Car goes flying down. A little bit of a bumpy road, but it's no big... Crap! No! No! Oh. That's interesting. He's just sitting there. Ah. Uh, all right. So... This needs to go up a wee bit more. Crap, it can't go up a wee bit more. That's right. We can actually just bring another one of these out. All right, do it to it, baby. Drive. Drive like you've never driven before. All right, he goes down there. He gets... Wow! What the... <laughs> oh, crap. Okay. All right. Okay. Very good. All right, new plan. Guy flies down here, jumps into this portal, this portal spits him out, his acceleration is slightly slowed down by this little ramp, which then, I don't know what's gonna happen, I guess sends him maybe careening past the turret? Let's try it out over here, alright. You are our newest testing subjects, go for it, and propagate. Doing well so far, alright, coming down, we've got success- Oh, he just took the friggin' turret down! Make it, make it happen, make it happen! It's gonna work! It's gonna work! We're gonna get past! This area totally got destroyed. Oh, man. All right, hold on. We have to see if we can make the convoy happen somehow. So we have to strengthen this area, like, as much as possible. I think I know how to. We're gonna connect this over here. And if we put all this down here... Now, this is gonna create so much weight. But we have another anchor point like this. Can this even hold itself? It looks like it's holding itself. All right, drive one more time. Give this guy a shot. See if this cushions enough to get it through. All right, cushion. Okay. Yes! Perfect. No! <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, it's still kind of working. Like, I think we might have a giant traffic jam. All right, we got to try it. Hold on. We're going to put a bunch of vehicles over here. There's, there's going to be giant crashes going on. Go for it, my children. Make it happen. Make crap. Crap. No. Giant pile up in the middle of sad land. But it's kind of working. So, can this guy push the other vehicles up to the... No, he can't. They're, they're all stopped now. We have three potential vehicles. Hold on, this could still work. This could still work. We have... Oh my god. This one is slowly dragging the other one up the hill. One more try for Isengard. No! Okay. Okay. Sort of. Just get... Get... Stop doing this with each other. Stop mating. Just come out from each... Oh, for the love of God. All right, it's all about the projected acceleration of the ramp. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. It was just a little bit of an angle, and all the guys are about... Yes! We freaking did it. We freaking did it. Test vehicles, three of three. Luckily, we have, like, so many drivers that can do it. We spent $42,000. This was the ending result. It was just a matter of kind of bringing this down until there was less acceleration and then bringing this up a little bit to slow them down. Once I got slowed down, it worked fantastic. Guys, what do you think of Bridge Constructor Portal? I really enjoy this game. Again, I'm not much of an architect, but damn it, I'm gonna make it work one way or the other, spending as much money as humanly possible. Ramps for the win, boys. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.